is 923. As we get older, we don't want to admit it sometimes, but things just might not be working as well as they used to. But there are three simple tests you can do right in your home to see how your physical and cognitive health are actually doing. Dr. John White is the Chief Medical Officer of WebMD, and he's joining us this morning with more on these at-home tests. Good morning to you. Great to see you as always. Good morning. Okay, so tell us the secret here. What are these three tests and what can yeah. they tell us about our health? Yeah, so I'll tell you, you don't always have to go to the doctor to get a fancy, you know, PET scan or CT scan. The first test that you could do on yourself or your loved ones is to walk forward and count backwards by seven from 100. So you're walking, it's 100, 93, 86. The key is you have to do both at the same time. And the reason why, Sylvia, is you're working two different areas of the brain. And if you're having problems doing that, your risk of dementia in you know five to 10 years mm -hmm. is almost double. That is so interesting. So you walk forward mm -hmm. and you count backwards you from 100, huh? Yeah, by seven though, so it makes by it harder. Seven. So you're, you're doing math. So that's working a different area of the brain called the parietal lobe. And the other one is really working on your cerebellum because you're walking. So it's two different areas of the brain and there's lots of good data behind this. Wow, very interesting. Okay, so why is it important for us to do these assessments at home? Yeah, and you know, the second test real quickly is, is standing um, you know, on one foot for 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. On average, you should be able to do 20. If you can't do 10, that wow. increases your overall risk of mortality and morbidity in the next five to 10 years. These tests are important to do because you want a reference point. A lot of times you're wondering, you know, how well are, are your parents doing in terms of their physical and mental health, right? What, what kind of test could you do that you don't have to make an appointment hmm. for, as well as you can do it on yourself okay. as well, you okay. know, with a family member. Okay, now we said three tests. Do we we yeah. only got through two, right? What's the third? Yeah, the third test is grip strength. And, and I think we have some B-roll, which is really, you know, this device, it only costs about $20 on Amazon. And you test your grip strength by okay. holding on it. And okay. depending upon your age, it should be for women typically in the 40s, for men in the 70s. And that gives an overall sense of your health because we're always concerned about frailty, you know, in our loved ones. Uh -huh. uh, we're concerned about falls. Can so you pick I it up? and show us what you mean, because we don't sure. have that video. So pick it up so we yeah. can tell our viewers what you're talking about it, here. It's this device called a dynamometer, right? And you hold it for you know 10 or 20 seconds, and it will give you a score of how strong you are in your grip strength. And think what we use this for. We use it for everything in our day, you know, cooking, opening things, even you know opening the door. And if your grip strength is markedly decreased, that you know could be a signal to you hey you may to intervene in terms of the ability of loved ones to to live independently very you know in, in terms of their overall health they may not be eating enough they may not be active enough and i mentioned these three tests because there's good science behind all three that really can give you some sense of how you or a loved one is doing physically and mentally Dr. John White from WebMD, always a pleasure to talk to you. Really interesting this morning and something for people to kind of use as a measurement. We appreciate your time. Absolutely. Everyone's going to be counting backwards. I by know. Seven. I'm horrible <laughs> at math. I'm in trouble. I'm a journalist. I don't do math. We'll see how that goes for me. Thanks again. Great to see you. Thank you you take care. Okay.